is the best place to buy Lego? I don't know, and quite frankly, that's a super subjective question. I don't want to make some fake pseudoscience to try to answer. But I can talk about all the different ways and places you can go to buy Lego. As someone that's bought a set or two, I've had a handful of experiences across the plethora of different options to go and purchase a Lego set in person. All these different locations did make me wonder just how many different ways can you go buy a Lego set? <laughs> the answer is way too many. When I was talking to one particular individual about this, they described the Lego buying experience as an umbrella and how each part does its own role. So you have like the official Lego stores or Walmart and Target, the Lego online uh, web browser, or even places like strip malls. They all have different options and there are a few different ways to go purchase Lego each adding to the overall umbrella of the Lego company. However, I feel like that that's a little bit disingenuous because I don't think this spoke right here that's supposed to be Lego stores is equivalent to Walmart. The Amazon spoke has a considerable bigger backing to it than the Walgreens rung. The metaphor for the Lego selling outlet being an umbrella, while interesting, doesn't really line up. However, the tree metaphor that I am now coming up with works a whole lot more. As you can see, we have a dead husk of a light form, something that brings no value to the world around it. This right here, this is Lego. And this right here is just a squirrel. Its name is tomato soup. Lego, like any other tree, needs a strong root system in place to keep it stable. This root bed is all of the major retailers that carry Lego. Walmart, Target, Amazon, Ace Hardware, all of these major companies keep Lego grounded. Now that Lego has a strong root system in place, it can now spend energy that it has on making its leaves big and pretty so it can attract other tree mates. Now, while I'm not gonna cover every single store out there that sells Lego, I just really wanna focus on Lego specific stores. Starting with the good old classic LBR or Lego brand retail. It's the main store that you see all across North America and even Europe. Now this should be the go-to thought you have in mind when you think of Lego store. Any other store is an offshoot, but this one is the main leaf. Certified stores on the other hand, while they might look like official Lego stores, are the inbred offshoot. These are the kind of Lego stores you would find in third world countries such as Australia or Mexico, I'm sorry, developing nations. They get their supply from Lego, they report back to Lego, they look like Lego, but they're really quite not. They're very similar to Lego stores that you find in airports. You can find them in the Billund Airport. Some are in Australia and Singapore. They look like Lego stores, but they're more aligned with certified stores where if you scratch away the paint, you can see that it's not quite the real deal. If I were to guess why they weren't officially run by Lego, I would assume it has something to do with airport security. Third party stores are exactly what they sound like. They are third parties selling first party Lego kits. They often also sell other used or uh, retired Lego sets and minifigures and such. And you might be familiar with a few of them such as bricks and minifigs. They might have some decent connections with Lego. They might even talk to some people on the side and get some extra translucent minifigures, but they aren't directly under Lego. The same cannot be said about gold standard certified stores. They're exactly like third party stores. However, Lego has come down and bestowed upon them a stamp of gratitude that these fine individuals should carry our brand. Pop-up stores are, um, actually I'm not quite sure. I forgot to look into pop-up stores, but I'm assuming it's with the name where they just pop up for specific events and then they're tore down at the end and they're run by Lego. Lego trucks are an interesting storefront and the fact that you don't actually buy anything from them and they give you free Lego and then coupons to go get free Lego from local Lego stores. Lego lands are absolutely fascinating. While Lego land carries the name of Lego, they don't always have the same standards that Lego likes to put up in their quality department. It's, it's a long convoluted history, but in the short of things, the Lego stores at Lego lands are way better than the overall park. You can find all sorts of retired products there that have not been carried or just weird merchandise things that Lego stores or even the websites would hardly ever carry. And they also have custom things like t-shirts that have apple fries on them because Legoland sells apple fries. Isn't that interesting? Legoland Discovery Centers have the same style of storefront as Legoland. They'll have a bunch of retired stuff and weird merchandise that Lego doesn't normally carry, but they're just smaller eensy beensy versions of Legoland and they're a lot more prevalent. Lego cruise ships are just like certified stores or airport stores, but on a cruise ship. They're not super common. I think there's just one or two of them in the entire world, but it's definitely interesting to be able to go on a cruise ship and come out with some Lego sets. I didn't mean to make this leaf look like a condom. I just drew from the, the tip instead of the, the base of the shaft. So that was an accident. The Lego house is a house meant for Lego. 
the Lego house kind of feels like what Lego wants Legoland to be. This up-to-date modern place where you can see old uh, Lego sets, the history of Lego, have different activities that involve Lego, there's a cafeteria, and most importantly, a store. There's a ton of exclusive stuff in there from minifigures to sets that they release once a year and it's only at that store and it'll never be anywhere else. And for that reason, it's probably one of the coolest ways to go pick up a new Lego. Dang, that was weird, that was. Lego education centers are interesting because I actually don't know anything about them other than the fact that there is at least one in Japan and maybe they might sell Lego or maybe it's just an after school educational program run by Lego or associated with Lego and maybe it might not even sell anything at all. So I'm actually gonna move it because I don't know if it means anything. It's just gonna be like a, a leaf on the ground over here right there. The Lego employee store is a store meant specifically for Lego employees. I know there is one in Denmark. I think there might be one in Germany and one in Connecticut. And it's only meant for employees of the company and their friends and family to come in and use huge discounts on sets that are current or sets that have been retired for the past couple of years. The Lego vending machine, as far as I'm aware, they're only found in airports. Uh, there's a couple in the Orlando airport, there's one in Las Vegas, and one in Chicago. The vending machines are a little bit more expensive than retail sets, just a couple of dollars. These are all the stores I'm familiar with. If you know of any other ones that aren't big box stores, feel free to let me know because I was kind of stumped trying to find any more. And if I were going to answer my question from the beginning of the video, what place is the best to go buy Lego? Well, I would have to say it's the Ace Hardware Store because not only do they sell Lego, but they also sell trading cards from the third Shrek movie.